Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. I know I still haven't had like a normal video this week. It's been a bit crazy around here, but I do have something interesting to talk about. So we all know Breath of the Wild 2, the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel, as it's now being called, instead of the sequel to it now, Breath of the Wild first and then sequel. I don't know why they kind of changed the naming conventions of this, but the bottom line is we know this game has been delayed and we got new footage and there is a lot of focus in this new footage on Hey, look, that glowing symbol on Link's hand. The Master Sword looks really weird. Look at Link's long, free-flowing hair. What is that glowing orb? There's all this speculation around that, and that's fair. And I'm very curious to find out what theories and information people can dig up. But I'm actually here to talk about the other footage that's in the game. Because remember, this game was delayed uh, you know, according to AJ Anomoy, because it's such a wide, expansive game, they're trying so much stuff in it, they need more development time. That is what AJ Anomoy said. And there's been a lot of people speculating that this isn't true. They don't need more development time. What they actually are doing are just pushing it back because there's so many big games coming out this year, which could be the real reason. Nintendo would probably never admit to that. But um, I do think that there is actually a really neat development thing happening uh, between the footage we saw yesterday versus the footage that we saw back at E3 2021. Uh, and I think it holds a key. So before I talk about this, if this is the first time you've ever seen a Nintendo Prime video, I would appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel. We are on our road to 80,000 subscribers. And again, I love my subscribers so much. We do have a giveaway going on this week for a PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, or Nintendo Switch OLED. Just use that gleam.io link down in the pinned comment or the description to enter. And I want to give credit where credit is due for this because this wasn't something I initially noticed. Uh, this was something that was pointed out to me. And this comes from at K-O-T-O-O-K-A-H on Twitter. Uh, and he DM'd me about this. And it, I, I double-checked, and it, it seems to be checking out. He said, did you notice that the trailer footage in the launch timing update, so the delay update, looks noticeably sharper than the 2021 teaser, if you actually put them side by side, yeah, it does look that way. Uh, when comparing the exact frame in 1080p from both trailers, the newer one is way sharper. They must have re-rendered the footage for the launch timing update. Okay, but here's the key. Must be FSR at play here. I think the re result looks really great. And FSR is something that Nintendo is playing around with. They are using it. We have discovered in Nintendo Switch Sports, which comes out at the end of April. And so we know Nintendo's dabbling in this technology that allows them to essentially provide higher resolution and better frame rates in games uh, while taxing the GPU, CPU a little bit less than it would if you ran them natively through a, a software-based upscaler. And we know Nintendo's dabbling with it already in one game, so why wouldn't they be dabbling with it in other games? So while we can't obviously confirm anything because we don't have any data files or anything we can dig through to discover at the moment if the game is using that, it is fun to note that just from last year to this year that they do actually look sharper. And looking sharper suggests it's running at a higher resolution. Now, again, this, this leads to two different theories. Obviously, theory one is FSR, FSR, FSR. They're using AMD FX Super Resolution to help increase and make the game look even better on Switch. And, by the way, this is a software implementation, which does mean it's not as simple as grabbing a piece of code, throwing it into your game, and flipping the on switch. That's not really how this works. That's how hardware-based solutions work. This actually requires a lot of custom code work to best take advantage of AMD FX Super Resolution. So it could legitimately be that since Nintendo has decided to start using this technology, they need that extra three months, that extra four months of development time so they can fully implement it across the entire game because they obviously did it at least for this subsection of the game that we saw in the trailer and it, the end result looks really damn good to the point that Nintendo thinks it's worthwhile to help make their game look as good as it possibly can. The other reason, obviously, that you could say this game looks better now than it did back then is that this one is running on new Switch hardware and the last one was running on old Switch hardware kind of supporting the idea that a Switch Pro or something is launching alongside the game. And again, I'm not one of those people that's actually buying into that. I do think a Switch Pro could still come out this year. I don't think it's anything's launching alongside Breath of the Wild, except maybe a custom system or custom Joy-Cons. 
Could be wrong on this front, though. Again, I don't work at Nintendo. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know the delay is because of AMD FX Super Resolution either. But very clearly, there was a bump up in resolution between the footage that we just saw versus the footage we saw in 2021. So when you keep that in the back of your mind and you start to consider it, you know what? Yeah, clearly whatever happened here might have to do with the delay. Now, there is an, a more obvious explanation for this, by the way. It could simply be, <laughs> well, you know what? Um, it looks better because this is direct capture footage off it running on a computer because video games are made on a computer first before they run on Switch. That could be an explanation as well. There's a billion explanations, but the fact that this is a public-facing um, ad for the game, essentially, uh, kind of lends more credence to it potentially running natively on some sort of Switch, if not an old one, a new one, or it's using AMD FX Super Resolution, or they just found new techniques to take better advantage of the current Switch hardware. We all know that there were frame rate issues and, and, and stuff like that in the original Breath of the Wild, and if they want this one to look significantly better, they're going to need to use every trick of the trade. Now, other things people noticed were sharper, obviously, were you know, the whole Master Sword scene, but I'm, I'm just going to kind of leave that alone because that could be a pre-rendered cutscene at that point. So that always tends to look a bit higher resolution. So I'm not going to, you know, try to overread into that. But I will say, hey, it does look sharper. It is noticeable, especially when they're side by side. And that, again, theorizes that they could be using AMD FX Super Resolution or that it could be on new hardware. I, again, I'm going to lean towards AMD FX Super Resolution since we actually have literal proof Nintendo's using that in an upcoming game, which suggests that why wouldn't they use this in other games as well to help make the games look even better on Switch. So, um, you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Am I way off base on this thinking? Uh, this is just kind of a one-off thought I had I wanted to make a video on today. Um, there is a bunch of news out there that we will probably get to uh, tomorrow. Uh, maybe a, a late video tonight. I, I don't want to make any promises on that. We do have a podcast tonight, by the way. Uh, with Andre's restart coming out. So I hope you guys tune in for that um, and go like and subscribe to his channel because he's doing amazing work over there uh, and has such a a passion for what he's doing and the conversations that he's creating. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rufflejance from Nintendo Prime. I want to thank you all for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video.